acne is a very common condition affecting teenagers and adults. It might lead to scarring in few instances. Let us understand a bit more about acne scars and treatment options available. The different types of acne scars include rolling scars, box scar scars, ice pick scars and hypertrophic scars or macular scars. Most of us have a combination of different types of scars and you need a customized plan of treatment to address all kinds of scars. The various treatment options available for all acne scars include microneedling radiofrequency, laser treatment, subcision, TCA cross peels, dermal fillers and specialized injections for hypertrophic scars. What is subcision? Subcision is a treatment where specialized needles are passed underneath the scar and they help in breaking down the thick fibrous bands holding up the scar. This helps in lifting up the scar and elevating them. Laser versus microneedling radiofrequency which is a better procedure for acne scars. Both are equally effective as a technology microneedling radiofrequency is a little superior and there is downtime with laser treatment of at least one week or so where there is visible crusting and peeling of your skin like dry skin. Whereas with microneedling radiofrequency there is no downtime except for a bit of redness and edema for that evening. How many sessions do I require to get rid of my scars? This depends on the severity and type of scars. Here we need to make a customized plan depending on the type and severity of scars that you have. We might have to combine few peels and laser or microneedling treatments. An average number of sessions required here are around 6 to 8 and the ideal gap between each session is 4 weeks. This gap is required for collagen remodeling and synthesis. Are the treatment options available for acne scar treatment safe? Yes, they are absolutely safe when done under a dermatologist's guidance and the results are permanent.